In this video, I am going to walk you through the process of transforming an equation of a parabola into standard form so we can take a look at the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. And of course, these are the key pieces of information we need to graph the parabola well, okay? So let's take a look. This is what we are given. We are given the following information. y squared minus 2y minus 8x minus 31 equals 0. And the objective is to begin with the equation in this form and to transform it so that it looks like this. y minus k squared equals 4 times p and then x minus h. This is the form that reveals the vertex, the p, and then from those pieces of information you can write down the focus and the directrix. Okay, that's why the objective is to begin with this, transform into this form, because this form reveals key pieces of information that you this one doesn't. Alright, well, so where do we begin? This is what you can do. You can write y squared minus 2y. Take the negative 8x, move it to the right side. You take the negative 31, move that to the right side. You've got here 8x plus 31. On the left side now, complete the square. So you have y minus a half of the 2, which is 1. Okay? Square that. And then don't forget to subtract the square of the negative 1. And this equals 8x plus 31. Take the negative 1, move it to the right side. So you have y minus 1, the whole thing squared, equals 8x. And then add negative, well, add positive 1 to both sides. So you have positive 32. Then the 8x plus 32 can be factored into. Pull 8 out. So what remains is x plus 4, like that. After that, you write y minus 1 squared equals, rewrite the 8 as 4 times 2, and the question is why? Well, because you want to make that look like 4 times p, because this shows us the p. Okay, and the p plays a crucial role. So, and then x plus negative 4 means x minus a negative 4. Okay, remember, two negatives give a positive, but writing it this way shows you the shift. So it's very useful to write it in that form. Okay, and now we can compare what we have here against this general form, which means we can write down k. We grab a different color here. So our k is equal to 1. Let's see, the p equals 2. And then h equals negative 4. Yeah, these are the key pieces of information, and with these, we can find the vertex, focus, and directrix. So let's take a look at how we find those. The vertex, then V, is a point, and it will be found as negative 4, 1. So the negative 4 is this portion, and the 1 is from here. Okay? Do not take negative 1 here. You've got to see this as, I will rewrite that, y minus a positive 1. You've got to learn to see it that way equals 4 times 2, and then x minus a negative 4. You see how many parentheses I have? The objective is to identify these key pieces of information correctly. So you've got to write in the parentheses, as you see here, okay? Then you see k is 1, and you see that h is negative 4. All right, so v is negative 4, comma 1. That's the vertex. The focus, then, is the following. h plus p, so h plus p will be negative 4 plus 2, which is negative 2, and then the second portion is the 1, okay? There you go. So that's k. So that is the focus, and then lastly, the directrix is usually presented using a big D, and that is just h minus p, so you do h, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. So, this is the parabola. Move all the axes to one side. Apply completing the square on the left on the y. We write in as much detail as possible by doing this. 
because after you have it in this form, you just have to match it against the standard form here, right? And you read off the values that you need. Once you have the values read off, then you can simply plug them into V to find F and then to find the directrix as I've shown you here. Okay? And a picture might be helpful in this context. You know, these uh, more recent versions of TI calculators can handle pictures of these. Um, but if you wanted to, you could still do it. Let's see. In fact, you should, in fact, be graphing things as much as possible. We'll call this zero here. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be our directrix. So remember, for this kind of parabola, the directrix is a line that is vertical. So you may want to draw, this is our directrix, okay? The y-axis goes through here, like that. The focus is at negative 2 comma 1, so that is here. The vertex is at negative 4 comma 1, so that is here. And then roughly what we have perhaps is something that looks like this. Okay, so directrix, focus, vertex, parabola, y-axis, x-axis. D, F, V, y-axis, x-axis. Okay? So th using this information, you see how quickly and accurately you can sketch a picture of a parabola. That is why we go through the sequence of steps so that we can reveal those key pieces of information. So there you go. That's it for this exercise. Thank you for watching. Have an absolutely amazing day. Don't forget to smile no matter what.